Okay, Nancy, look to the left here and you will see um, Irish wolfhounds. Oh, yeah, wolf homes, Nancy. There they are for you. There they are. Awesome. This is the drawing bridge where we just came across and down through the golf course to Ashford Castle. It's, it's amazing. So I'm going to take you on a tour and we're going to take you through and show you this unbelievable place. Oddly enough, tonight in the cinema on the first floor, which is up one notch, not the ground floor, they are playing The Quiet Man, which is the John Wayne Maureen O'Hara movie that was filmed right here. And uh, there's the Irish flag atop. And let's take you through. So as I came across the bridge, by the way, so there were two guards, one at the gate all the way out and then one at the at the front of the bridge there. He's hiding in the tower there. And um, the golf course uh, check-in is just out over the bridge and to the left. And then you drive up and they do everything for you. They take the car. This fine gentleman took our car, took our luggage. Our room's not ready because we're very early and that was on purpose. We wanted to be. And off they go. They don't... Uh, uh, they give you a receipt for your car, of course, and you can get it whenever you like, but uh, there's no need because everything's done for you here. So let's take you around. Let's take you through. I'll take you on a, a castle tour here real quick. So I have to show my sister Nancy. Nance, there's Irish wolfhounds that guard the entrance to Ashford Castle. I thought you'd be interested since you have two of them. So in we go through the entry and to the right is reception. And I'll just make sure that I have enough light in here because I have it on cinematic so I can walk. It's the concierge desk to the right. Reception and our very professional check-in artist. This is what I'll be wearing to dinner tonight. Um, I think it's a little clunky, but I think I'll be all right. I'm going to look good. I think I can rock that suit. I think I can rock it. Oh, look at that. So all Waterford crystal chandeliers. This is where the Guinness family would entertain when they owned the castle. And this is the main room. The Guinness family would have... Uh, musicians up there, just there, playing for the guests that came here. And now through this door is the tea room. This is the famous Ashford Castle afternoon tea. We're trying to get a reservation. Um, they do have a reservation for afternoon tea. By the way, that's the largest fireplace in Ashford Castle that isn't working just now. There's looks like Errol Flynn, but I don't think that's him. But my goodness, this is the tea room. And this is what you just have to get in. The tables are beautifully set. So if you want afternoon tea, it's a famous experience. And this is where it is. We are trying to get a reservation for it. They could get us a afternoon tea reservation, but they couldn't get us into the actual tea room. So we passed. We are on the waiting list in case something opens up because if it does, we will be here. So there's the lake, they do lake tours, and we'll take you out there in a minute. So, are you into some afternoon tea, Mrs. Thompson? I would like to get in, yes. Yes. <laughs> this is some place, oh boy. 
So how would you like to have, holy cow, whatever you need, you know, so the Guinnesses um, didn't polish the silver, they polished the gold. And if that's not enough, well, you have some spares over here. My goodness. Okay, now moving on through the castle. To the left is the King George V dining room. This is where we will be having dinner tonight. Jacket for the men is required. They will not let you in unless you're wearing a jacket. No jeans is the specification for the women. Once again, one of these chandeliers would buy an entire house for the cost. We're having a meeting amongst the staff back there. And the King George dining room. I was drawn to this book and I don't know who it is. Beale Toman, A Life. I can't read it. A Life in Food. Okay, it's a cookbook. So we'll be here for dinner. And then through the doors is uh, the other restaurant um, where um, you do need a reservation here, but this is the alternate room when they've overbooked the tea room. And we could get in here for afternoon tea, but it's just not the same. So it, in the evening, there'll be a gentleman playing piano. And uh, everything is just, you could just gawk at this forever. Now down the stairs, is the Stanley's, which is a uh, the only restaurant that is non-reservation here at Ashford Castle. And then the Dungeon is another restaurant. Uh, and uh, the spa is down that way also, is what you have. To the left here is the bar. And um, it's open as long as people want to stay. And it's a great place just to have a drink and relax. And I imagine they have everything you could possibly want. Looks like there's some Guinness um, on tap there. And holy cow, just about everything you'd want to drink. And there you go. So I'm just noticing the cruise boat that uh, you can get a reservation for to take kind of a cruise right there. So going out the emergency exit door. To the back side. Oh, and they said, so there's gonna be a, weather's gonna be a challenge later. So she suggested that we do our tour of the grounds now and it's, it's, there's a slight uh, drops of water. It's absolutely gorgeous, the gardens. The back side of the castle here. I was surprised they were so proud of uh, the movie with John Wayne. Um, and Maureen O'Hara. that they would show it in the theater. Okay, so let's walk around the grounds a bit and then um, we will take you to the second floor. There are a few things to see up there. So here we are, walking through the gardens out to the lake. Look at this fountain, it's 
not fountaining just now. But beautiful. Now, tomorrow, we have down this path where the two gentlemen are coming towards us. About a 10 minute walk to the right is where the falconry experience is. Um, we call it falconry, they call it a hawk walk. So, I don't know the difference between a falcon and a hawk, but we're gonna find out. Um, they sound like two different birds. I didn't think they were the same. But they might be the same. So there's a piece of art of a falcon or a hawk. And wow, this is breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. So I will give a piece of advice. Um, this is, it, the, you can imagine, this is one of the only five-star hotels um, that I think it's the only one we're staying at. And I think it's one of the only ones you can find in Ireland. Um, and it is expensive. So, but what I, what you need to know is if you're here and let's say you book your stuff on orbits and you can cancel because if you watch if you're in the area if you're within a drive of ashford castle and you watch typically a room here a night would be upwards of a thousand dollars but you can see these things drop down to half that if there's availability and they need to fill. So if you keep your eye on it, you might be able to get in here. So our falconry experience should be grand. This one decided to go to the lake and grab a, grab a trout. How about that? Hopefully he doesn't grab my arm and rip it completely from my body. So I think we'll walk down towards the falconry experience and see what we can see to get ready. So you can see the left side of the castle is the newer and the right side much older. We are staying in the older section, which is perfect. 1928 when it was refurbished. Is that tea time? I just heard the bell tower ring, which is one ring, which means it's one o'clock. Oh, yeah. So down this way, oh my gosh, look at that tree. A 10 minute walk is the falcon. It just, these gardens go on forever. I cannot even see the end of that down there. We're gonna walk down there. So just to the left now is some more gardens. Looks like there's tennis courts back there. And um, I don't know if pickleball has made it to Ireland, but possibly it has. Okay, just further up the path, the Falconry School turn off is just here to the left. That's called the Tolman Garden, and it has a fountain. So I think we'll walk down that path and see if we can locate the Falconry School. That way we won't be lost tomorrow and we'll know exactly where we're going. Okay, so there is the fountain. We've come down further, and as we came down this way, we noticed that the Falconry School goes through this underground passage by the walled garden. So hold on, I've got to switch to the other camera. Okay, we're going in because this, this camera does light better. With the cinematic one, 
would be screaming at me to uh, get some more light on the subject. So it's just an underground passage that also leads to a walk under a bit of uh, foliage. That's, that's fun. So we emerged through there. And now you can see what we're gonna see. We're walking right down. Here comes the bride. <laughs> this is a very long walkway. You got time to think if you wanna run. <laughs> <laughs> In case we get married. Well look at they've got corn. They've got gardens over here. Oh wow. So I don't know if we're getting veggies from the gardens tonight, but we shall see. I'll just come around the edge here and show you. Yeah. Not giant, but pretty cool. We've reached an outbuilding and the falconry school. Signage continues. And here we go. So we came around the corner and I thought this building was the school. I still think it might be. Falconry School, this way. But it, it looks like nothing happens in here just now. The Falconry School is just to my left, I can see it. So I don't know if that's being used. It doesn't look like it. That was something. That's the quiet man house? That's the quiet man's house. Oh, you know what? I think it is the quiet man's house. Yes. Danninger's home, the Squire Danninger's home. How about that? So that is in the movie. I think they came right out that door. That door right there, that green door right there. Not there, I don't think this was there for the movie. It has to be. But uh, the Quiet Man House, 1951. Now we have to watch that movie because you can't. Well, you never know what you're going to find on the way to the falconry school. Ron and I feel confident after the falconry school, we could maybe race horses using that. Yes, I think we shall. Falconry school, no cars are allowed into the driveway of the falconry school. I know they're very protective of their school and sometimes they allow very limited photography because the the falcons or the hawks don't really uh, do well they 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 notice everything and I'm not sure that possibly we're gonna get be allowed to do much filming so then my request would be and so here's the Here's the falconry school. My request would be um, that maybe I stand aside then and stand way back and just get Rhonda doing it. So, but we'll get some uh, we'll get some flights on for you. By the way, I'm wearing my Irish hat today. I love it. It's beautiful. That's the second one he got. As we walked around, yeah. I think people people half think I'm Irish. We can see mine. We wear mine tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, now back inside, and we're going up to the billiards room, to Cigar Terrace, 
and the boutique just up the stairs. Go immediately to your right at the top of the stairs. Oh my goodness, this goes on forever. Okay. But I'm thinking the boutique is this way. Hi. Okay, Ashford Castle Monopoly now. Holy cow. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Now my mother, Patsy O'Day, would go crazy in here. Because she was here. So, there's the, there's the cookbook. And they ship. So you can get Ashford Castle wine glasses. And all kinds. Well, now, do you think that's strong? I think so. Gunpowder Irish gin. We need some of that. Go so down the hall. Oh my goodness. Now there's a whole bunch of pictures. Oh, yeah. Do you need that? I need this, and I think we better get one for Carly. <laughs> Carly? This is Carly's color, yes. Oh, yeah. That matches her, yes. her coat from you know where. Coat. It's more like a poncho. Carly, this is yours. <laughs> How much is this? I'm afraid to look. Oh, it doesn't even say. You know, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. That's beautiful, though. People don't ask here. So let's see who was here. Princess Grace, Prince Rainier. Who was here? Princess Grace of Monaco visited. Oh my goodness, so a seaplane landed in the lake there. Um, here's some old pictures. I'll just back off because it's too much to take you through. This is amazing. They have a library. So if you want to check a book out um, to read in your room, you can. Clearly, once again, not knowing my record I'm checking books out of the library. But in Ireland, I get to start over. Okay, private residence only, that's us. So the billiards room to the right. Let's take a look. All the famous people that stayed here, oh my gosh, there's too many too. Bob Hope. John Travolta, I don't think that's him though. Robin Williams. Wow. Oh. Welcome to the village. <laughs> we, do you have billiards? I do. They have orange juice, they have coffee. They have tastiness at the billiards room. Notice I don't care about the billiards. They're cigars cookies, right? Juice, coffee, coffee. I'm sure you can. Oh, I love and then this is the holy billiards. This wow. thing is gigantic. I mean, that's as big as our pool at home. I mean, can you, that's the biggest pool table I've ever seen. So the billiards is just to, uh, Relax, oh, look at this. Now there's chess over here. So Norell, if you were here, I'd be whooping your butt on that. Look at, here's a rat pack. A photo, picture. Rhonda's over there invading the coffee. So, Mrs. Thompson, um, is the billiards room sufficient? Is your tea doing well for you? Splendid. Do you like the opera music, or should I ask them to replace it? Did I die and go to heaven? <laughs> Apparently, you have. 
When did we die? It was somewhere on the road over here because there were plenty of opportunities. <laughs> so, by the way, that's the balcony. So the entire castle is smoke free. So no cigarettes, no cigars, but you can uh, purchase a cigar or a cigarette and take it out there and do your thing. Yeah, so this is quite a place. And uh, five star all the way. I mean, from yeah. the time we pulled up in front where the Irish wolfhounds guard the entrance, um, they have taken everything from us. And uh, it's incredible. So highly recommend this if you can find it in your budget. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. So um, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Rhonda's going to finish her tea, and then I'm going to take you up to the cinema, where tonight they will be playing The Quiet Man uh, with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. We are surely to at least peek in there because we just watched that movie before we came so uh, we didn't want to sit through it again when we should be exploring uh, the castle so uh, but we will at least pop in there okay now up to the cinema which is just up these stairs so as I walk up we'll see what's up here I found it the cinema room Right through here. Oh, yes. They are showing a movie. I smell popcorn there. I know this is dark, but uh, here's tonight's movie. Okay, so now downstairs to see what there is to see down there. Here we go. Okay, so it's the Dungeon Restaurant. And you do need a reservation just to get you a feel for it here. that but you don't need a reservation for the Stanleys which is right down here to the left but is there a reading in progress I don't know no you just go and he cooks right in front of you there so here's the Stanley and they they just cook right in front of you because basically you're sitting at a bar and behind it is the chef and you just sit there and there's a there's just bar seating there. Oh the sandwiches, the Elvis. Yeah. Burgers, side dishes, and that's a great place to go. So the spa is just here. And it looks empty right there. The spa at Ashford. Reservations only, of course. There is a salon um, where if you want to get all dolled up, you can certainly do that. You know, hon, though, the one thing I love about my wife, I mean, she looks so good that she never really needs a salon because she's so naturally, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Okay, so we're in the bar where you can get some food. And you know you're not in Kansas anymore when they begin it with caviar, which is 185 euros. So there's some starters and some sandwiches. We have dinner coming up, so we have to be careful. So we're gonna share a BLT and have some French wine. And there you go. 
and your French wine, my dear. Yes. Not a bad way to wait for your room. No. 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 Although I feel so out of places. <laughs> I'm at the fanciest, the fanciest, one of the most expensive castles in all the world. And I've got my Guinness t-shirt on. <laughs> We're lucky we even got in here. Okay, the silver today used to, and you know, you don't want to eat, you don't want to eat your um, BLT with just any kind of silver. You want the Arthur, what is it, Arthur Hill from England, silver? Arthur Price. Arthur Price, I'm very sorry. Can you see it? Arthur Price from England, silver. Yeah. We'll, we will eat with nothing less. So the BLT has arrived, and it looks like a BLT. It looks like a big and BLT. And surprisingly, chips. Shocker. Um, so, really good. The French wine is delish. Oh, my goodness. We should have bought the whole bottle. Probably still can. Probably still can. We should ask. Yeah. You know, the thought just occurred to me since Arthur Guinness owned this castle at one point. Um, I could knock that out of place with a Guinness shirt. Just a, just a Guinness Ashford Castle fan. Okay, here we are. It's room. 424 of Ashford Castle. This is the older part of the castle, which I love. Yeah. Now we went all out. We got the lux room. So let me show you what that means. So the control panel for the for the heat and light and whatnot is there. And then the main uh, lights um, in the room. Let's just go right in and I'll turn left to the mini bar and uh, the safe, the hair dryers in that basket. A mini bar? Yes, a mini bar and uh, a refridge. Oh my goodness. So when you go in here, so now, so before you take a shower, you gotta turn on the floor heating and the towel heating. So our luggage has just arrived. So Rhonda's gonna collect that. The bathroom, a grand tub. You know what those are. A gigantos shower and a very interesting. So uh, the heated towel heated bar. Towels. And look at the robes. Never had heated towels before. Well, you just robe. don't want one color. No, you want a double colored robe. <gasps> it's soft. Oh. That's so we've got a scale. We definitely don't want to look at that because no, Rhonda and I have been no, uh, gaining not. weight We're like the Titanic took on water before it sank. The bathroom is unbelievable. Yeah. Just beautiful. Okay, bathroom is cool. And what do we have here? TV, I think, up in the mirror. Um... I don't know what that is. Oh, it's it's the blinds. The blinds. Auto blinds. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was. Okay, that wasn't that exciting. <laughs> we thought it was a TV and a mirror. Yeah, no. Okay, out to the room. So, you know, you don't want to show a room without a glass of French wine in your hand. Oh, no. Oh. But what do we have in store? Rhonda's taking on airs. But we also have something over here stored for us under the TV. Okay, so, yeah, you get your name on the TV. There we are. Oh, look at The Quiet Man. I mean, it's the only movie you can watch in Ireland. And certainly at this castle. This but this is grand. Look I at this. It. I love it. Right? Who's got a lamp like that at home? We got a view of the golf course out there. So there's your room. Well, so this is a deluxe room. And I don't know what's above a deluxe room. But you get complimentary. Not every room gets that. Sherry. So uh, I've never had sherry, but I think we're going to have to try that. Absolutely. Water. And uh, there you have it. There's the room tour. So what do we got out the window? We've got the helicopter pad. And people touring. Look at the weather turned out to be nice here. 
It's grand. It's grand. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it just fine. Okay, here we go. It's fancy night out. We are, off our, we are on our way off to dinner. Uh, to George V dining room at the Ashford Castle. I don't know what's on the menu, but we'll show you. We'll do all we can as long as we don't uh, kind of mess up the night for other people. We'll be careful. And uh, come on along. This is going to be awesome. Okay, baby, we have arrived. I'll just give you a pan around. This place is spectacular. Okay, we have a, been greeted with a glass of champagne. We had a choice of three. And this is how you do it. So what we have here is caviar if you want to start. I'm going to go with the seared scallops. I'm also going to get the lobster, which is the middle course, which is just lobster meat. Ron's going to get the champagne sorbet. She's not that hungry, so she, she's not going for a starter unless she changes her mind. Yeah, I think I'll start with, I'll start with the organic salmon. Organic oh, salmon. nice. Okay, you're going for the organic salmon. Yeah. I love it. Okay, there you go. They're going to carve that right in front of you. Now, main courses. The Chateaubriand right there would have been spectacular, but Rhonda just doesn't want beef. So, she is going to get the cod. And I'm going to go to the lamb line. And it's going to be awesome. So, here we go. I'll have some bread butter. Okay, on the fly, we shifted gears a little bit. Because Rhonda went for the sea scallops also. Because she didn't like how the salmon was. Because it's completely uncooked and on a skewer. So, she's like, a little risky. My salmon but uh, she did get the cod. It's baked. Um, I got the lobster. She got the... Uh, champagne sorbet yeah. and then uh, I also got the lamb for dinner so we'll see how this all is and this is spectacular in here I can't even tell you we're trying not to make a scene but everyone's looking at me with the camera talking into the camera so uh, we'll try and minimize this okay so the bread is unbelievable now this is the brown bread that you mm -hmm. see and it's delicious but this is that like a, a ride. we don't know what that mm -hmm. is but it is spectacular so you know if you gotta sip french champagne the rest of your life and eat that bread that wouldn't be bad that wouldn't be bad okay compliments compliment by the chef they sent us a crab cake which is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Okay, voila, the scallops have arrived. Yeah. I like it. Scallops, delicious. So that is my lobster. And that is Rhonda's. Sorbet, champagne sorbet. With cu we have a cucumber and lime. Cucumbers and lime. Yep. Here we go. Mm. Okay, right. I'm gonna get. Are already? Can we we are already. already. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, he's ready. Unveil. Here we go. Oh, there we are. Thank you. There's my lamb. Oh, and there's Rhonda okay, with perfect. her with her cod oh, and yeah. cream sauce. Thank Look you. That. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna get your sauce. Beautiful. Okay, here comes Will you sir? Yep. Oh, look at that. There we are. Enjoy. Perfect, thank, thank you. you. Okay, so there's my spuds. There's no way to fancy that up. I'm in love with this stuff. And Rhonda loves the serving. Yeah. Of her vegetables <laughs> of course i'm just i'm totally amazed with they use real silver i mean it's just amazing that they i've never uh 
I don't think I've ever eaten with real silverware. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. How is it, babe? Having the cod? That's fresh. Super fresh. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Okay, so we're absolutely stuffed, which is why we're gonna order dessert. <laughs> Just right now. What is, you feel like an oh my god stuff? Oh my god stuff? No. So Rhonda says we are stuffed, but it's a good stuff. Healthy stuff. Not a, not bad a bad stuff. stuff. <laughs> so right. Rhonda's going here for dessert, 72% dark chocolate. Bravaro, so Irish cherries, kirch, and pine oil ice cream for Rhonda. I'm going down to the hazelnut proline souffle, basically apricot sorbet with milk chocolate. What we passed on were these other things, I'll just let you see. Yeah. I'm sure all of it's just yeah, ridiculously I mean, good. good. How about that? Oh my gosh. Well, do we have room for this? We... We're gonna find out? We might find out. Oh, I don't okay, remember. It's dessert, and Rhonda got the dark chocolate. That's uh, Irish Vanilla. cherries. Yeah. We've got some uh, cream, and it's on a cake. I went with the hazelnut souffle. And, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's zero chance this is not going to be delicious like everything else. Everything is so great. Wow. Okay, Rhonda May. Yes. We are done with dinner. Yes. That Very was good. one of the finest dinners in my life. Oh, is it like a five course? Um, you just well, we made it into a five course, so there's lots of ways to go there. There's an eight course tasting menu. I cannot imagine. I, I you know, so, and we... We we selected four courses, and the chef came out with a um, with the crab, crab at the beginning, which made it mm. five. And so good. It was absolutely yeah. delicious. So, you know, we had the desserts. So I just loved everything. How about mm. you? Oh, I loved it too. Absolutely. Yeah. So my gosh, this is quite a place. I mean, what a mm -hmm. what a treat. This I recommend was, this day. Oh gosh, if you could not. Uh, this way? I know, mm -hmm. and this was, this, you know, that's, this is not uh, uh, inexpensive Gee. by any means. <laughs> so so, so I, I don't know if it's in your budget, but if you can find it, this would be probably one of the, one of the coolest experiences you could ever get. So um, that's going to do it. Where else would you rather be? Be in this beautiful castle with Tom May TV. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Next one. Please subscribe.